Hello and welcome back to Boxer Gaming in another box tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at one of my favorite mods, although it is quite overpowered, but it's awesome, Dartcraft. Yes. So the first thing you need to know, it adds a few new ores, well actually this one, uh, which is the Force Gem it's called. And it comes in these two variants, and when you break it, you get Force Gems, and I'll show you those a bit later. Apart from that, it also adds a few items, and you can see those here, there's a few more I think, but these are the most common. So claws drop from bats, tears drop from, I have no idea actually. <laughs> Force Smiths can be found in dungeon chests, you can also craft them. And they're pretty awesome, they're like um, shovels, and they work as a shovel, as an axe, and a little bit as a pickaxe. Like it does do cobble, it doesn't do ores, but still very nice, very nice. And monsters also have a chance of dropping a spoils bag, and this is about a 1% chance uh, as far as I could see. Now if you right click it, it opens it, and this is a mixture of dungeon loot, basically. You can see a force me in this one, steel sword, gold, formium, which is quite nice, some claws, and an oak wood log, for some reason. So 1%, quite nice, if you right click on it, it'll put everything in the chest. Nice, cool. So we talked about getting these Force Gems from the world, and, and, and there's quite a few of them. You won't have to search very long. You can find them pretty much everywhere, even in the nether, so that's good. These will turn into Force Ingots, and you can use various recipes for it, uh, like two iron and a Force Gem makes two Force Ingots. Uh, if you use gold instead, you'll get three of them. But gold is quite rare. They are much more rare than Force Gems. You can find these enough. Instead, I would say use refined iron. It also gives you free. It's still one iron ingot, so you just have to smelt it twice. Not not a bad way to do it, I think. So let's get a few of those. I might. I don't know if I'll need them, but we'll see. Now, just like any other ingots, you can use uh, four ingots to make nuggets. Similar as always, you can also put nine nuggets in a square and I'll make another ingot. Same as all. Now, the first item you want to make, first actual item you want to make. <laughs> Is called the force rod and at start you make a weak one you can see it has very little durability hmm so that's one force ingot one stick and one force nugget and it makes you one of these now with these you want to do a few things and you only need one of one for this the first thing you want to do is plant a sapling and before it grows hit it with a force rod and this will turn into a force sapling you use bone meal on it and this is a force tree. Now these don't grow naturally as far as I can tell. I haven't seen one in more than 30 hours of playing this mod, so I don't think so. But they do drop saplings. And when you mine them, you'll get force log. The force log can be make, made into force planks as usual. Now, this is a recipe that is going to change quite quickly, okay? Normally, two force logs would make sticks. Now, in Feed the Beast, this is broken by Tinker's Construct. It actually makes an oak barricade. In the update, which is coming actually within a week, so good chances are that when you're playing Darkcraft, this will already be fixed for you. You will need to make force planks out of force log, which is just one force log. And from those, you just put two planks next to each other like a normal stick recipe, and you'll get four uh, force sticks. With this recipe, the old recipe, you used to get eight. Cool. Four sticks. With the four sticks, we can make a properly functioning force rod. Nice. So this has full durability. It'll last forever. So instead of a normal stick, you just use a force stick. Easy. Now, let's get on to the really cool stuff about Darkcraft. Because so far, you know, it's, it's not that interesting, is it? No, no, I didn't think so. Cool. Let's get rid of that. That's going to annoy me. <laughs> Let's have a look at this chest. What did I store here? A rest of energy cell, so okay. Some obsidian. An upgrade tome, which I'll get to later. And a book. Now, one of the first things you want to do is place down obsidian and right click it with the force rod. Boom. This will create you a force infuser. Very cool thing. This is what you're going to do upgrading, and, and it's like enchanting, really. Now, this needs a power source. So. I'm just going to put this energy cell under it, but you know, you can do pretty much anything you want. Now there's another bug in this version, which I'm not sure if it will be fixed for the next version, is that you cannot use um, redstone energy conduits to power it. It sort of doesn't connect, but the cell works just fine as you can see. Now it goes up to 25,000 Minecraft fuels, so it's quite a bit actually, but it's okay. Cool. 
Now this chest, we have a lot of stuff that we might need. But first, let's tell you that for this we'll need liquid force or force gems. Now if you use force gems, there it's a little bit less efficient. The most efficient thing would be to use the force gems and put them in a foresty, uh, forestry squeezer. And this will give you a little bit more than when you just put a force gem in here. This will give us a thousand, I believe. The other one, I believe it gives you 1250 or 1400. So if you can squeeze it, do it. But otherwise, this is okay. Like I have so many force gems in my world, I, I could never use them all. It's ridiculous. So yeah, it's pretty safe to use them. So boop, put a stack in there. Now, the next thing we need is something in here and we need the upgrade tome. And that's why I've got a book in here. You can see this is the upgrade tome. To make it, all you do is get a book. And this is one of the cool things I like in this mod. You drop it on the ground, and you right click it with the force rod. Boom. Upgrade tome, tier one. Nice. This goes in there and now we can start upgrading. If this is not in here, you will get an error here. So that's nice. Now there's many tiers as you can see. There's at the moment there's seven tiers and with each tier you get a more powerful enchant and also more enchants. As you can see, this thing here is for the actual item. And these are the items that you want to enchant onto that main item. At the moment we can only do these two. I don't know if you can see that in the uh, in the video. But later on, when you get more tiers, you can go all the way up to seven items. So eight items, which is uh, pretty cool to be honest. Okay. We'll get back to that, okay? Let's have a look at a force engine. This is an engine that's added by um, by Darkcraft. It is quite overpowered and it is getting fixed where it will use more force gems. But for now, this is the way it is. It's it's overpowered, but it's, it's pretty nice at the moment. Uh, so all it is, it's like a normal uh, buildcraft engine, except for it, it accepts a lot. So these are the fuels you can put in lava, which is 0.5 microcraft joules a tick, oil 1.5, biofuel 2.0, ethanol 2.0, fuel 3.0, and liquid force 4. So if we put liquid force in here, I'll just put one bucket in there for now. You can see here microcraft joule a tick none, first of all none. If we turn it on, we'll need to have a return energy cell. Or something else it can power, but we'll do, we'll do an empty energy cell, boom. There we go. So at the moment it's outputting four uh, Minecraft jewels a tick, which makes sense because liquid force is four. Now the special thing about this is that you can use a throttle, which is nice. So all we do is get a bucket, put a bucket in here as you can see. And now the throttle is two and we create eight Minecraft jewels a tick, which is a lot for something so simple. Now instead of water, you can also, also use a milk 2.5 or crushed ice 4. So if you use liquid force, which is a 4 microjoules a tick, and use crushed ice as the throttle, you'll get 16 Minecraft joules a tick. Very, very overpowered for such a simple engine, you know? Uh, it's very simple to make. All you do is just get some force ingots, some force gears, and the force gears is a stone gear with some force ingots around it. So simple. And a piston. Cool. So that's a force gear. Nice. So what else can we do? Well, now we get into the real enchanting stuff and I'm not going to go through it tier by tier because it's going to take way too long, but I'm going to show you most of the options that you get. So I'm going to put a tier 7 tome that I made before and I'm going to enchant some stuff. But what can we enchant? Well, we can only enchant force tools or force armor. So the force tools are made... Where did I put that thing? Where did I put it? Did I not... Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, hello. Cool. So the force tools are made the exact same way as you, use, as you make normal tools. So if, instead of sticks, you use force sticks. And instead of ingots, you use force ingots. Simple. Boom. Force pickaxe. Let's also make a sword. Boom. Force sword. It has everything. It has a bow. It has a, a, ha a hammer, etc. Very nice. Boom. Okay. Let's use these for now. Now... When you shift click this, it'll go into the middle slot, as you might imagine. Now, this button here is, is important. This is the go button. It will only only light up if you have a valid enchantment going. So at the moment, you can see it's tier 7, so I can use all slots. Cool. Let's, uh, let's show you some. I'll just uh, make some room so I can keep 
things organized. So before we go, I guess I should show you one more thing, and that's the fortune cookie. The fortune cookie is just a normal cookie with a piece of paper, and these are quite, quite overpowered. <laughs> so when you eat a fortune cookie, just nom nom nom. Okay, well, it doesn't want to let me do that. In creative. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. It will give me fortunes. You can read them if you want. I'm not going to. It's uh, they're semi funny. <laughs> so as soon as you have these in your inventory, you can see you ho you hover over it and it says luck. Whilst normally it doesn't. Only when I have the infuser open doesn't it say that. And that's the enchant you're gonna get from using this. So I can put one luck on there. I can put a let's say a call on there, which says heat. Cool. We could put a bat claw on there. Boom. That says damage. Okay, nice, nice. We could put a hmm. What, should, what else should we put on there? I guess that's it. The more enchants you put on it, the longer it'll take to enchant. So that's why. Boom. Go. Now keep in mind you can only enchant this once. So when when you do it, you can't add stuff to it. Uh, you have to disenchant it completely, and then you can add stuff to it again. So, boom. We now have a heat sword with sharpness two, fire aspect one, and looting one. Very nice. Let's try that with our pickaxe, shall we? For the pickaxe, let's use flint. Let's use heat. And let's use some sugar. Ah, oh, and two fortune cookies, why not? We'll make it a nice big enchant. So we'll use flint, heat, sugar, luck, and we'll fill the rest of it with sugar as well. Go. Now this will take a lot longer. It'll use a lot more force. And it'll use a lot more power. But not too bad. In the meantime, let us put a little bit of ore on the ground. Maybe, um... Some lapis, I think we'll do. Can we uh, find some dark lapis? Mm. Lapis. Boom. Ah, there we go. So now we've got a heat pickaxe with grinding, speed 4, and fortune 2. Now fortune, as you might imagine, is pretty awesome. Boom. Look at all that lapis. 24 lapis from one. Nice. 45 so that's cool another 21 let's try some iron ore shall we and this is where this uh, pickaxe really comes into play I, I believe put it on the floor now we're expecting just to get one iron ore but because we added heat the coal one and flint the grinding one we actually pulverize it first so we make it into two ores and then the heat smelts it for us so now we got two iron ingots awesome now there is another mode on this and it is pretty nice and that's if you um, shift right click it'll activate area mode now mining is a lot slower but it does that now you might also have seen that I got some ferrous ingots for that because that's a byproduct of pulverizing iron at some times cool this thing is really cool isn't it it does use it quite a bit of durability but you know that's okay. Now, there's a lot more of these. You can use axes, you can get them to uh, decapitate a whole tree. Or tree capitate, okay, I guess it is. <laughs> Try it yourself. All these work. Try them, they're very cool. Uh, you can enchant bows with ender pearls, it's hilarious, for example. <laughs> but let's go on, shall we? So, the last thing I want to talk about is the force armor. And the armor is just leather. So, just make normal leather armor, get a force rod out. And just like before, we just chuck these on the floor, use a force rod, punk, punk, boom, poof. And this will get us some force armor. Now this thing is nothing special by itself, but, what do I have that on? But, when you start enchanting it, you can get some really cool stuff going. For example, I can put heat on this, I can put luck on this, I can put a feather on this, which is probably the thing I should show you most of all. I can put obsidian on it. And I can even put an energy crystal on it. Now the energy crystal, uh, I'm not going to show you, but pretty much all it does is instead of durability, you'll use um, energy. And you can just recharge it, so you never have to um, make another pickaxe. The downside is that you can't enchant it in a normal enchanting table anymore. Yeah, that's right, you can normally. Pretty awesome, isn't it? So put free luck on there. Now some of these will stack, some of them won't. Luck will stack um, only once per armor item. But... 
on a pickaxe, it will stack multiple times. So that's sort of, sort of figuring out yourself. Um, claw, I don't think it works on this, but I can just add it. Oh, it does work, see? If we add a claw. Um, I use I use the feather which has wing. Now let's uh, let's do that. That's all for now. There's a lot more stuff you can add to this, but it will take too long. <sighs> use all slots if you can. Obsidian adds um, damage, so you can't get damaged as much. Sugar adds speed, so you can run faster. Uh, if you add sugar to a pickaxe, it mines faster, etc. So now we've got a force cap with heat, damage, luck, and wing. Let's put this on. Now we can fly. You can see that blue bar in the top left. And I can jump a bit higher as well. Now with each armor piece that has wing on it, you can you will go faster and higher. Sorry, not high, uh, faster, only higher. Now the other cool thing you can do, and this is quite awkward, is if you hold shift space and right click, you can fly. Now at the moment it's only eight seconds, so it goes down quite quickly as you can see. But with each armor slot, it increases by eight as well so totally i think you can fly up to i think it's 40 seconds if you also get a wing sword in your hand pretty cool 40 seconds of flight is a lot actually uh, also if you have all armor slots you can jump like so far i think it's 10 blocks up uh, another good tip is that if you hold space you will actually float down instead of um falling down fast also on water it will automatically float you on the water as long as you go at a certain speed. Very, very cool. Now, there's a lot more stuff that you can play with yourself, but really, you have to do this yourself. And there are a few more cool things you can do. And one of the most, most overpowered, that's getting a nerf in the next update. So if you're playing this, it might have already gotten a nerf. And I think what they're going to do is make this consume force. So keep that in mind, just in case. <laughs> Um, where's my force ingots? There, I'll chuck some of those in there. Let's get a force wrench out. And I've got pig spawner here. Now the force wrench is really, really special. I've never seen anything like it. And I would caution you. Like, be careful when you use it. It can bug out at times, okay? One of the cool things I can do is shift right click, boom, spawner. Yes, it will work with any spawner in the game. Very nice. The other cool thing it does is it can save everything inside of an object or all meta information about an object so this chest for example you can see it has some obsidian and books in it it's a pain to move this isn't it no just right click it with a force range boom you can see the icon looks a little bit different as well i can put it down anywhere i want there boom still obsidian and books in there so early game it's quite nice to have like an inventory you can just carry with you and anytime your normal inventory gets full you just pop down this chest um force wrench it up again and carry it around no 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 Beautiful. Now this works with a lot of stuff. Like for example, in my previous thermal expansion sort of uh, tutorial, uh, this has redstone in it. Boom. Thank you very much. And we plonk it down there. It'll still have this in it. Very, very awesome. Now I know that it bugs out with some stuff, so be careful. It bugs out with some um, miscraft stuff, like a writing desk. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you doing that because you can lose everything inside, so all pages. So be careful. But with most of the major mods, it works exactly as you would expect. Like it even works on signs. Although it does look very funny. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. Force wrench. Now, just note that it even saved the location. So here it was facing this way. It still does. So that's the force wrench. There's a lot of other stuff it does. It's also a normal wrench, like you would expect but it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. It also works with applied energistics, by the way. Now, the last thing I want to show you is some interaction with IC2. So if you get an advanced diamond drill or even a normal um, drill, if you have a force rod, all you do is drop this on the floor, right click it and I'll turn it. It should turn it. <laughs> Uh, not an advance, I think it's just a, no a normal diamond drill. Okay, they changed the recipe. Never mind. Never mind. Changing recipe, always nice. Where's my force nuggets? I don't have any force nuggets. <sighs> Boom. So if you add a force nugget, 
to a, a drill, you get a power drill. You used to be able to just right click on it with a force rod, but I don't know why they changed this. Now this power drill is pretty cool because you can enchant it and you can shift right click and you get these slots here. Now these are kind of legacy. You used to be able to upgrade armor in this way as well, not in the infuser, but now it uh, only the mining drill has to be done this way. So these power cores, you get them by using an experience tome, getting some experience in them by just uh, shift right clicking, of course. It'll get filled up. Now the experience tome is made in the force infuser. I think it's a tier four recipe, I believe. And all this is a book with a bottle of enchanting. To get a bottle of enchanting, by the way, get an enchanted book and right click it with the force rod on the ground. And you'll get some bottle of enchanting. That's a new recipe added. Cool, so this thing has 1280 experience in it. Cool, drop it on the floor. Hope the recipe hasn't changed on me. Boom upgrade cores now you do lose your book so be careful you can pick these up and these upgrade cores just go in there and you can enchant them like normal so you can give your power drill some extra enchants okay i believe that that is pretty much everything i want to throw ah no there's one more thing <clears throat> this force armor is enchantable and i'm just going to do it with a advanced enchanting table because it's a bit easier to show you but when I add my armor in there I can enchant it so I can add protection for I don't have enough levels <laughs> or oh, not enough bookcases okay never mind it works and a cool thing repair stacks with the force repair so this is very very cool so you can get pr protection on it respiration aqua affinity fawns unbreaking whatever you know you can add anything on it so you pretty much have double enchants which is overpowered as hell like it, it's very overpowered i'm using dart craft armor instead of powered armor because why not like i can't die in them pretty much cool that is it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time